as far the situation in Minnesota, as far as the the officers, the knee into the throat, uh, you know, the suspect and dying. Do you have any response on that? Oh, it's it's horrific. It is absolutely horrific. This isn't to me. It's not about policing. This is about what are you as a human being. I mean, that is like, how have you stooped so low? It is appalling, and I'm at I'm at a loss of words to explain how these fellow officers could stand around and watch this. Mm -hmm. There's there is no explanation for this, and I think that what you're going to see now is you're going to see the the public and rightly so saying, okay, well. Had John Doe done this, John Doe would be in handcuffs. One of these officers is going to be in handcuffs. It's, it's indefensible. But in saying that, I think it's also important to say um, there's a lot of good cops in the Minneapolis PD. The chief, Rondo, is a friend of mine. He's very, he's had his hands full. He came in tasked with cleaning up the department and he's had his hands full. And I think it's important not to use a broad brush and just assume that everyone thinks and agrees with that. But in terms of those four officers, I don't know how they're going to live with themselves. I really don't. Alrighty. And as far as Atlanta goes, what do you have in place? I mean, as far as the environment here that protects our citizens from things like uh, that? Well, I, you know, allow me to say this. That technique is not trained by APD or by the state. But I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if Minneapolis is training that, on that technique. So that's always, as a law enforcement agency, the first thing you need to do is go to your academy and say, what are we training on? And make sure that there's not something there that you just did not realize. Um, the other thing we did, we immediately yesterday, we took the video and we play that frame by frame for our recruits to show them how not to do it, to show the consequences of their actions, and to make them understand even better with greater clarity what their role is, not just as the arresting officer, but as the officer who is standing by to intervene and stop such egregious behavior. So um, I think that, you know, but it's, it's, it's not, obviously it's not good, but what it also does is you know that the, the communities in Atlanta are looking at this and saying, wait a minute, this could be my son, my brother, my uncle. And so it really, it puts an added burden on law enforcement across the country when something this egregious is uh, committed, an act this egregious is committed by another law enforcement agency for sure.